Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Content Modeling Weekly Course. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me, Marcelo, at headlesscreator.com. This is a two-part series uh, where we reverse engineer the Netflix website. We're going to go through the Netflix website. In part one, we're going to look at the uh, shows, and they have TV shows and they have uh, movies. We're going to look at the TV shows. We're going to reverse engineer that. We're going to build a content model around that. Now, of course, this isn't going to cover anything that is um, AI related uh, because they have a lot of AI powered stuff that that runs their website. But this is more on that content structure. So then you can use something like this on your own website. So with that said, uh, let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. We'll start. I'm logged in here um, into Netflix. And let's just review the site real quick. Um, at the top, you have TV shows and movies, right? Those are the two types I'm not talking about. I know they have like a gaming thing going on too, but uh, I don't do that. So we're going to focus on TV shows and movies and assuming that you want to do something similar on your site. Today, we're going to focus on TV shows and all the metadata. Now, in, in theory and in practice, actually, you could combine both of them into a content, uh, uh, a uh, content type um uh, content <laughs> type, I guess, uh, content model, and then um, set a type for that, whether it's a TV show or, or a movie, but we don't want to do that. We're going to keep them completely separate. But you can see that if you hover over, we'll go into, let's go TV shows here. Um, you can see that when I click on this, you can see there's an image, there's a title, there's some metadata around it, like description, you have cast, genres, then you have episodes. Episodes have their own metadata. Uh, right now, all you see is like the title, the description. Then at the bottom, you'll have some more uh, members choose. This is AI powered, AI powered, so we're going to leave it like that. We're not going to touch that. But here you have uh, some more metadata information like creators, cast, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and proceed and let's try to build that. Now, what I did is I took screen capture so I don't have to go back and forth of just a show. And um, we're going to go ahead and content model this. Like I mentioned before, you have you have movies and TV shows. So let me let me rearrange this a bit. So that way, there we go. It's a little bit closer here. All right. So one thing we could have done is we can create we could have created a content type called content and then give it a title and then a type. And then the type could be movie or TV show. You could do it that way so you have it all in one place. Um, there's not a right or wrong. Um, there's just different ways of doing this stuff, right? Uh, of modeling this. I prefer to keep it separate just because um, TV shows have episodes whereas movies don't have episodes, but they'll be sharing maybe the genres, uh, maturity level, ratings, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and delete this. And we'll go ahead and, and create one here, a uh, content type. And just a reminder, you have here's the uh, uh, guide, right? Where we have regular field, reference field. And I like to do all my content types uh, to be generic. So it can be placed in any content uh, um, uh, CMS, right? Content management system. So let's start with, we'll start with and call it TV show. And we'll do that right there. So the TV show for sure is going to have a title because if we look at, um, let's get rid of that, leave it there. If we look here, we have the TV show, let's go there, has a title, it has an image as well. Um, now, the image is, it, it'll be dependent on the channel, right, how it's displayed. But it has an image and we can, uh, uh, we'll make it dynamic, but it also has this 96% match, that's going to be AI power, but it has a date of the uh, of the uh, show. It also has episodes, but keep in mind that some shows have also, let's see if we can find one, let's see, seasons. Some of them have seasons as well. Uh, right here, we're not seeing the seasons. But some shows have seasons, and within the seasons they have show they have episodes. So we want to keep that in mind. So let's just say that this is only one season, but it could have multiple seasons, right? So we're gonna need for sure three content types. We're gonna have a TV show, 
for sure we know. I'm just adding title as just the base. We're going to have um, season. For now, let's just do that, title. And we may not use that. And then we're going to have episodes and title. Okay. So we know that a TV show has multiple episodes, but episodes can belong to a season, right? Can have, can be part of a season. So maybe what, what we could do here is we can, uh, well, first of all, we know that because it has a title, it'll also have a description. We know that part for sure. And by the way, I uh, rarely prep for these sessions on purpose. Well, I mean, I prep by reviewing the site, but I don't pre-do any, pre-set up any of these content types because I want to go through the process. It's not just about how to create the content model, but it's the process that you have to go through. In a real session with um, uh, clients, you would have multiple people in the session, right? So you'd have the person that knows the, the content really well, but knows the inter another developer, a developer that knows the systems, content architect that knows the architecture within, you'll have multiple people. Right now we're just doing it on our own here. So TV show has title, description, and it has episodes. And the episodes is gonna be one too many, two episodes. We'll call it that, like that. Okay, cool. So let's get this colored properly. This is a reference field, so we know reference fields are orange. Okay. So we're gonna have episode. Now an episode also has a description. We know that for sure. Okay. So now we have a TV show. We can create a TV show with multiple episodes. So if we go to back here, we can create trolley with the description and start creating these episodes, which have a title and a description themselves. Now, it looks like titles really for all episodes. It's just, well, some of them say episode one, episode two, but here you have prelude, the accident. So we do want a title and a description. The the minutes, that's going to be automatic based on the, on the video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it where you can overwrite it as well. So we're going to say length just in case um it's for example 59 minutes and 40 seconds but you want to put 60 minutes right so we're going to overwrite it and do that so now an episode can have a length we haven't talked about season yet let's leave that for a minute um what else does uh episodes have let's see we have title description we have the actual the actual episode so let's put in we're going to say video. And now in this case, it's going to be a, um, if we look at here, it's going to be a media field because we're going to store the video in probably a digital asset management system. So I'm going to say, uh, which one is it? I believe it's this one. That's for a video. And, yep, media field. Okay, so an episode, so we have a TV show that has multiple episodes and the episodes have video. The video themselves have built-in metadata, which you can pull programmatically. But we're going to be able to overwrite the length because we may want to round it up or, or round it down. It, we'll let the author decide. Um, and of course, we can make this optional so that way if the author doesn't put it in, the code can just display the length of the metadata that's in in the video, in the file itself. Okay. Okay. So we have this. Let's connect this here. There we go. So we're doing good there. So that looks good. Um, I'm liking this so far. Let's go back. And let's talk about, so I think we've got the episodes pretty much covered. Let's talk about the other metadata. What do we have here? We have the description done. This is going to be AI taking care of that. We need a date. Uh, um, it's probably a release date of the show when it was created. Um, it has episodes can be calculated based on the content type episodes, right? So based on the number, you can just pull all the episodes and 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 display that. So we're going to put a, a date uh, created for the show. Or we'll say date release, right? Um, 
All right, so we have a date release on that. And then that'll take care of, now we're, we can put in the entire day, like month, day, year, but you can decide what to display here if you just wanna display the year. We have a maturity level, right? Like a rating. And then there's some tags um, that they usually give warning on. Then we have cast and genre. So let's take care of genres because genres is something we're gonna be able to use later for uh, movies as well. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna organize this a bit. We're gonna call this, we're gonna leave it like this. We're gonna leave season there for now. Let's convert this to a frame and we're gonna call this TV shows like that. We're gonna do this. Okay. There we go, just doing a little bit organizing. And let's bring TV shows down and we'll bring that there. Okay, so we're good with that. Um, now, the reason I'm doing this, because what I wanna do, I'll show you in just a minute. Let me organize this, this part. I'm gonna put genres outside of here on purpose. If I can get it to select, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna create um, another, and this is gonna be more of the uh, content model for everything else. And see how I'm starting to organize, right? You wanna organize your stuff as you go along. We know TV shows is just gonna be content types focused on TV shows. But here, we're gonna, let's convert this to a frame again. We'll convert this to a frame. And we'll just call it generic, generic content types. And here we're gonna go TV shows content. Okay, cool. So for the generic content types, what we're gonna do is here we're gonna put genres. Because remember, the reason I'm calling it generic is we're gonna use it across the other content models, right, when we do the movie. So we'll, we'll call it genre. If I can spell it, there we go. And we know the genre has, we're gonna say a title and a description. That's it, let's keep it simple for now. Okay, so we know that a TV show has a genre, right? Based on, if we look at here, based on this, you can see that we have genres, multiple genres, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go genres, and we're gonna say one, it has to have at least one too many, to genre, like that. Okay. And let's make sure this is a reference field, right? It's the genres. So now we have the, we, we are, we're able to assign as many genres as we want to this um, TV show. So going back here, we have, um, this show is heartfelt and intimate. This to me seems like it's more like tags, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna add uh, tags here. We're gonna create one called tags. We're gonna go name. I'm gonna allow the description, and actually let's just go title. We'll just stick with the standard, right? You can, you can pretty much decide on what you wanna call it, but I'm gonna stick with the title. So I'm gonna say these are tags that are these at the bottom right here heartfelt, intimate, so we'll call those tags. So I know that a TV show can have tags and it could be one, we want at least one to many the tags. Okay, we're good there, okay, you can see that. We're starting to build this, this is coming out uh, pretty good so far, so let's go back here. So we have tags, now we have maturity rating, TVG, so on and so forth, so we're gonna call here, and I think we can mix, there's two ways of thinking about ratings, right? You have uh, TV ratings, and this, I'm strictly speaking of US right now, it could be worldwide, but different parts of the world, different countries may have different ways of, of handling ratings. But here we have ratings that are specific to TV and ratings that are specific to uh, the movies, right? So, for example, if we look at this, you have TVG versus uh, rated, like, for example, uh, G, right, or, or rated PG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it all together in one uh, content type because I don't want to uh, waste content type. So I'm going to do, we're going to call him uh, ratings. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a title, a description, but then I'm going to do a type. 
and the type is just going to be a value field but it's going to allow me the user to select two value two types it's going to be a uh, value uh, type one will be uh, movie and the other one would be tv so that way we're able to pull give me all the ratings for tvs and give me all the ratings for movies right if you want to now you could have a tv ratings content type and a movie ratings content type to keep it separate but the idea is remember some cms's will limit how many content types you have and then you have to upgrade the um the license right so we don't want to do that so we're going to go ahead and leave it like this and yeah we'll leave it as ratings and then here we're going to go rating one to one to ratings right it's um a movie can't be pg and pg-13 it's going to be one of those ratings okay so we're going to go leave it as rating and this is going to be a reference field one to one tags takes care of that so let's go back whoops okay we have that so we have the rating we have the rating, we have uh, the tags here, right? Uh, we have genres already. Now here's a suitable for general audience. That's your description of the rating, and I believe we are tracking that. Yep, we have it here, so we're good for that. Um, if we look at others, I believe, let's look at uh, here, if we go down. Yeah, you have language, smoking, Parents strongly caution may not be suitable under the age of 14. Um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, you, there's many ways of doing these could be tags, these could be uh, rating warnings that are specific to this show. So there's many ways of handling that you could handle them by adding a tag type. So then under tags, you have like rating tags, you have other, you can classify the tags how you want them. But I'm going to leave the tag as, tags as generic, and I'm going to add a, whoops, that's not what I wanted you to do. I'm going to add a ratings warning message, okay? And this is just going to be a text field that we're going to allow the author to basically put in something there, which will be displayed at the bottom. Again, there are different ways of handling that. You could do that, or you can say, no, these are going to be tags, uh, and let's, let's, categorize them it it really depends on how you want to handle it there's not a perfect or or a single way of doing this okay so we got that i want to make sure we're on track we've got that going Oop, let's go back here so we have the warnings we have the description the maturity uh rating the rating uh, we have the tags we have the genres now we need cast now you have cast but also up here notice you have um, I believe there was in some of them, you have, cre it says creators. Okay, in this one, you don't have it, but, but in some, it says creators. So let's create, we're going to call, we're going to create a cast content type. And we're going to call it, uh, basically, we're going to have um, full name, first name, last name, bio. We're going to keep it simple for now, right? Now, keep in mind that I did not add any imagery at all here. There's a couple of things you could do, and, and we're going to close that up by adding some images. You can add them to this content type, or you can bring it into uh, an external system um, uh, that allows you to bring in content and then add content types of, of design content types. Uh, full disclosure, I obviously work for Uniform, owned by Uniform, and Uniform allows you to do that, to bring in, for example, content from uh, uh, Headless CMS and then create content types within Uniform and add more of the design stuff around it, right? So we can keep all the the content here clean and, and reusable across many channels. But we're going to add it to here now. So the cast, um, we have full name, first name, last name, and bio. And in fact... Um, we're not going to call it, uh, yeah, we'll call it cast. I think that's fine. We'll, we can leave it as cast for now. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to say, we're going to do creators and it's going to be one too many. So it's got to be created by at least one person to cast. 
And then we're going to have actors, one too many, to cast, right? Now, I'll explain why, why that is important. And then, um, for example, let's say we can say directed by one to many, it could be many directors, cast. You say written, let's say we want to track all this stuff, written by one to many to cast. Okay, so this, 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 it are all reference fields to cast, right? Let's do this our, our standard way. So now for this video or this show, we can have a lot of information about the cast, right? What we call, we're generically calling it the cast, which could be actors above the line, below the line, as they call it, right? The actors um, above the line, below the line, uh, kind of like production people, so on and so forth. The cast, we're gonna we're not gonna track um, a title here. I mean, we could, but the reality is, a creator could also be a director, which could also be the writer, uh, and then some actors could be creators, right? So it, it's very fluid. So we're gonna keep it like that, pretty generic. Again, that's why I'm separating this into generic content types because we can take all of these, all of this information and then do it on the movie side, which we're gonna do on part two, right? Of, of this uh, series. Now, we're not gonna do that today, obviously, but we're getting pretty close here to, to having it done. Uh, oop, we got this moved here, perfect. Okay, let's, we can delete this for now. I'll leave it like that. We know that this is part of that. Okay, so we have TV shows, we have all of this information. The question now is uh, image. I, like I mentioned, you can bring it into an, uh, a, um, uh, like a DXCP uh, platform, kind of like Uniform and do all that there. I'm gonna go ahead and do it here, just in case you don't have something like that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put here, we're just gonna say image, uh, show image, right? So it's a show image, we'll call it show image, show image. Um, and it's going to be obviously a media type. So let's do that. And, but I'm gonna allow one to many, right? Um, we want to be able to add more than one image. So you can do that in any headless CMS. And then, then the, omni, the, the channel can decide which image to show appropriately there. So we're gonna do that. Now for the episode, if we look at this, we have this is the image up here, but for the episode, each of them have their own images. Now you can, of course, generate those based on the video automatically, but in this case, we're gonna, um, and this is gonna be one, two, one. We've gotta have at least one, um, two, video. And then this one, we're gonna do episode image, one, two, one. Okay, so now we're able to have um, the video and the image thumbnail, right? And we have a thumbnail for, or not a thumbnail, but a header image. We can have many images here. Okay, so that's taken care of right there. We're good with that. Now, um, we pretty much got everything covered. I mean, we got the image, we got the description, we are the title, we have uh, the rating, we have tags, we have all the cast right there. We have genres, uh, this is more tags. Uh, we have the description of the episode. This is what's next, right? Description of the episode with the title, with thumbnails. I think we pretty much got it all covered. Uh, cast, genres, yep, I think we got it all covered here. So I think we're doing good. The only thing left, remember that there's an ability to see episodes and I'm, I'm not sure why it's not showing me. Let's go to TV shows real quick here. And let's go to more info on this. Oh, there, there it is. Episode one, episode, or season one, season two. So we do have that. So my recommendation is we're going to, um, we're gonna go title, let's just say title here. And here we're gonna go season. So this episode is for this season, right? We're gonna create an episode for a particular season. So that way we can say, give me all the episodes for season X, Y, Z. And honestly, 
let's not waste a content type. In this case, I'm going to say, you know what, this is just a numeric field. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, so when I create in TV shows, I'll go into episodes, I'll create a new episode, give it all the information, say this is season one, create another episode, season two, so on and so forth. Um, and that's that's how we're going to be able to display, as uh, as it showed here, right? Uh, nope, not here, I forgot which one it was. Oh, here, this one, more info. I'd show right there. We can say, okay, show me all the episodes for season one. Because you can say, give me, you know, can run a graph, uh, graph kill and say, for this TV show, give me all the episodes for season one. And boom, and we'll get them. So we'll have that. Um, okay, so I think that that takes care of TV shows. It takes care of the generic information we need to support all the metadata around TV shows. Um, I think that pretty much is it. I think now we could, let's clean this up. There we go, like that, we have this. So I think this sets us up properly for part two, which is gonna be next week, I believe, or in two weeks, I don't remember, but stay tuned. Just go to headlesscreator.com and check out and, and we'll work on part two, which is going to be working on the movie site which has their own set of metadata uh, that we're gonna need to track. Um, so there you have it. Um, I don't see any questions. So that's that means I did a great job or everybody's asleep. I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, hopefully it means that I did a good job on explaining um, how to create this content. But I think we now have a content model that will be able to support um, at least TV shows and all surrounding information, all the metadata we need for that. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you want to get a hold of me, just email me, marcelo at headlesscreator.com. And like I said, stay tuned for Lesson 59, which is coming up, and uh, that'll be part two of this, where we'll finish this up with um, uh, the movie uh, content model. And then maybe we'll do a part three. We'll see how it goes. We'll do a part three to bring all that into a headless CMS and, and show you how it would look like inside of a headless CMS. So that's it. As always, get a hold of me. Remember, go to headlesscreator.com, get your free account, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.